Canadian sprinter Andre de Grasse wins semi-final three in a time of 19.73, a personal best, and stating clearly to the world that he's ready to stand atop the 200 meter men's final polar. Running second in the same semi-finals, Benerick, who had impressed earlier, impresses again, running 19.83. The Americans look ready. In semi-finals three, world lead Noah Lyles ends up in third position running a time of 19.99 quite easily. The thing is he was leading and eased up about five meters before the line. Liberia's Fombele runs 19.99 to end up second in the same heat coming from the back like a freight train like he always does. Fombele is another one we should be watching in the finals. One of Canada won semi-final two in the same time of 19.99. Now, Arian Knighton, wow, what can I say? Really, really impressive. Knighton wins his semi-finals in a time of 20.02, but looks so comfortable. Boy, people are, are beginning to, when I see this young man run, I'm beginning to think of Usain Bolt. I don't know what you're all going to say, but I honestly see a young Usain Bolt. He can hit the top of that podium. Jamaica's Rashid Dwyer runs 20.13 in the same heat as um, Aaron Knighton and makes it two to the finals. This is... This is going to be very, a very competitive race. Uh, I think most people would think that easily Noel Elias, who has dominated for years and who is in obviously in very good shape, would be the person to watch. But the grass's time at PB, he looked so comfortable, almost the reverse of what happened in the heats. Clearly, his legs are fresher. Um, Knighton, uh, wow. Benerick of the USA, Liberia's Fumbele, and Brown of Canada also all look really, really good and comfortable. Uh, this is going to be a really, really interesting 20 meter finals. Uh, I can't wait to see this. I'm still looking at the grass, Noel Lyles, and uh, Knight. It, it, that's what I'm seeing in my mind. I can't tell you the order. Um, it should be, if tradition holds, um, no lies. But of course, I'm now just giving you my opinion. What do you think? Do you think that uh, no lies can be dethroned? Is there any possibility that he could be defeated? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And as always, bless up.